So now we're going to go ahead and install the RAM. For this particular review, we're going to be using the HyperX Predator 3000. These are a 16 gig kit. All right. Now, this for the memory, I'm going to go ahead and put this down for now because I don't want to touch these gold pins. For the memory, this is slot one, two, three, four, and then this is eight, seven, six, five. So the way to keep it in quad channel is to install memory in slot one, three, seven, and five. Okay, that's the way to keep it in quad channel. If you install it in any other method, skipping over one, three, seven, and five, your PC is not gonna boot at all. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Install it into slot one. So to install RAM, just push these little guys down. And then you might mess up the first time. Just line up the memory like this. You notice there's a little notch right here. That little notch matches right up here on the motherboard. So if right now I were to install it like this, it wouldn't go anywhere. To give you a better example. See, it's not going anywhere, kind of seesawing right there. He would just flip it around. And push down. Now put it down again. Just push down. And that's going to go ahead and pull these little notches in. Alright, so now both of those that we slid out went back in and locked into place. They locked into place right over here. That's just to make sure you can't pull the RAM out and you don't want to do that with your system on. So now slot three. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same. Okay. Now slot seven. Nope, won't fit that way. Flip it around. Okay. And finally, slot five. All right. So that's pretty easy. I've just shown you how to install DDR4 RAM. Again, in this particular case, it was the HyperX Predator 3K or 3000, the 16 gig modules or kit, should I say.